Hello, welcome back to the Doing It Is channel. Today we are going to the editable column uh, in the Karthik Date View. So first we need to install this Karthik E2 editable. So let's go into our terminal and install that. So let's copy this. And paste this. <clears throat> okay, so that's updating and that's installing. Uh, While it's doing that, let's make the changes into our file. So let's go into the branches section that we have made and let's change this grid to use the Karthik grid. So first, right now it's using the normal grid view class. So let's change that to Karthik. Karthik. Okay, next. Uh, yes, let's check. Okay, uh, so this is asking for a PDF export functionality. We don't want that right now actually. So we'll change that make the export to false so that disable everything uh, so property export to false okay next i'm going to set the phx to true so this is the way that you should use phx with the karthik grid so when we are using that way please remove the phx begin and end Otherwise, you will get errors. Okay, so it won't, I mean, not errors actually, it won't work properly. Uh, so that's that. So let's check this. Okay, now I'm going to use the editable column class to create our first column uh, in the grid view. So I'm going to give it, ask it to use the cl class of Karthik grid editable column. Okay, next I'm going to give it attribute. So I'm going to do it for the branch name. So let's do that. So we can remove that. Next. Uh, yeah. So next, what we can do is, yeah, we can just test it. Now make sure that it is installed, done installing. So it's still running, that's a problem. So that will give us an error. So it says that the editable is not there. So, okay, it's ready in the power. Okay, let's wait. Um, so what else can we do? Okay, so there are other properties that you wish if you wish to know. So right now it is branch name. So it's going to we can change the header name if you want. Give it something else. You can see branch. Uh, we have other properties like uh, we can set the value manually. Uh, so we can pass a function to that like that so we can say pass the model and we can return the branch is the branch name is and concat the branch name so we can do that anyways we don't want that right now uh, so I'm just waiting till this installs. Okay, it seems that it's going to take some time. Maybe the my network is slow. So I'm going to see you on the next lesson. And once this is done installing, I'll show you the what we have got. Okay, I'll talk to you later then. Uh, stay tuned. Do subscribe and please share my tutorials. Take care. Bye.